Hello and welcome to your Citrus TV News Brief this Tuesday, February 25th. I'm Julianne Pixoto. Here are tonight's top stories. University Union made a guest appearance at the SA meeting last night. They said that 50% of block party is already sold out, a statistic they've never seen before after the first day of ticket sales. Floor seats are completely sold out for the event. Block Party will be featuring Zed and 2 Chains at the end of April. Female military veterans wanting to enter the business world will get some help doing so. SU will receive a federal grant of up to $1.3 million to support the women. The grant will pay for up to three years in a special training program. General Motors recalls continue today with another four car models added to the list. GM says the ignition defect shuts off the engine, which disables the car's front airbags. This latest recall amounts to 13 deaths and 31 crashes throughout North America. GM has now recalled nearly 1.4 million cars with the faulty ignition switches. And Uncle Sam could be calling more troops home. The Obama administration announced this morning plans to potentially start pulling out all troops from Afghanistan. More than 33,000 U.S. troops are currently in Afghanistan. If no security agreement is signed, withdrawal could begin at the end of this year. And now for a quick look at the weather. We had some heavy snowfall earlier in the day, and it looks like we can expect some more as we look ahead to tonight. There's a 60% chance of snow with predicted accumulation of more than an inch this evening. Current temperature is 19 degrees, but it will drop down to just 11 degrees tonight. And that's all the news we have for you now. Make sure to tune in to SA Today at 6 p.m. I'm Julian Pixoto. Have a great night, Syracuse.